The sparks flew as soon as their eyes met. Jack, a widowed father of two, had been stuck in a rut for what felt like an eternity. His late wife's passing had left a gaping hole in his heart, one that he thought would never be filled. But then, like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day, Sophia burst into his life. She was a whirlwind of color and creativity, her fiery spirit radiating from every pore. An artist by trade, she painted the town with vibrant hues and bold brush strokes, leaving everyone who crossed her path aglow. Jack, numb to the world around him, couldn't help but be drawn to her infectious energy. Their first meeting was nothing short of serendipity. Sophia had set up an easel in the park, lost in her own little world as she brought a canvas to life with bold strokes and vivid colors. Jack, strolling by with his kids in tow, stopped dead in his tracks, mesmerized by the kaleidoscope of hues before him. Sophia looked up, caught his gaze, and smiled, a smile that could light up a room. As they struck up a conversation, Jack found himself opening up to this free-spirited stranger in ways he never thought possible. They talked about art, life, love, and everything in between. The world around them melted away, leaving only the two of them, suspended in the moment. The days that followed were a blur of stolen glances, whispered conversations, and stolen kisses. Sophia brought Jack back to life, reminding him of the simple joys he'd forgotten. Laughter, sunshine, and the thrill of new love. As they explored the city together hand in hand, the world seemed a brighter, more vibrant place. Sophia's art studio became their sanctuary, where they'd lose themselves in each other's eyes, surrounded by the colors and textures that filled her canvases. Jack, once a skeptic when it came to matters of the heart, found himself falling deeper with every passing day. He couldn't help but be swept away by Sophia's passion, her laughter, and her unwavering optimism. As they danced under the stars, their bodies swaying in perfect harmony, Jack realized that Sophia had awakened something within him, a sense of possibility, of joy, of rebirth. The love they shared was no longer just a spark, but a raging fire, burning bright and true. Their love story became the stuff of local legend, with friends and family whispering about the widowed father who'd found love again. Jack's children, initially skeptical of this new woman in their lives, grew to adore Sophia for her kindness, her humor, and her unwavering support. As the seasons changed, Jack and Sophia's love continued to flourish, a reminder that life is full of second chances and that love can be reborn at any moment. Their story became a beacon of hope, shining bright for all those who'd lost their way, reminding them that even in the darkest moments, there's always a chance for renewal, for redemption, and for the thrill of new love. And so, Jack and Sophia lived happily ever after, surrounded by the colors, textures, and vibrant hues of life, a testament to the power of love reborn. As the months went by, Jack's children, Emily and Ben, grew more and more fond of Sophia. She was the one who encouraged them to express themselves through art, just like she did. Emily, a budding artist herself, found solace in Sophia's guidance, while Ben, a sports enthusiast, discovered that Sophia's enthusiasm for his favorite teams was unmatched. Their little family became inseparable, with Sophia incorporating Jack and the kids into her artistic projects. They'd spend hours in her studio, laughing and creating together. The house was filled with paint-splattered smocks, half-finished masterpieces, and the sweet scent of turpentine. Jack's friends from the neighborhood would often drop by for impromptu art sessions or game nights. Sophia would whip up a mean lasagna, and they'd all gather around the table, sharing stories and laughter. The once-stayed widower had transformed into the life of the party, with Sophia as his partner in crime. As their bond grew stronger... Jack began to realize that he was no longer just a grieving father trying to make ends meet. He was rediscovering himself, finding new passions and interests through Sophia's influence. His children thrived under her care, and the family became an unlikely trio of artistic expressionists.
One fateful evening, as they sat around the dinner table, Sophia turned to Jack with a mischievous glint in her eye. You know what would be amazing, she said, her voice dripping with excitement. If we could turn our house into a living art installation, can you imagine it? Jack's eyes widened as he gazed at his partner in crime. Sophia, that sounds like madness, and I'm all in. Together, they hatched a plan to transform their home into an immersive experience. The neighborhood was abuzz with excitement as the family worked tirelessly to bring Sophia's vision to life. The result was nothing short of breathtaking. Their house became a kaleidoscope of color, with murals on every wall, sculptures scattered about, and interactive installations that responded to sound and movement. It was an ever-changing masterpiece, reflecting their moods, interests, and creativity. As the news spread, art enthusiasts from far and wide flocked to witness the spectacle. Local media outlets featured their story, praising Sophia's innovative spirit and Jack's willingness to take risks. The once ordinary family had become a sensation, inspiring others to unleash their own inner artists. In the midst of this whirlwind, Jack realized that he'd found his true calling, not just as an art lover, but as an artist himself. Sophia encouraged him to explore his creative side, and together they started a collaborative project, merging their styles to create something truly unique. Their love story had become a beacon of hope for all those who'd lost their way or needed inspiration. As the family's fame grew, so did their sense of purpose. They knew that their art was not just about creating beauty, but also about spreading joy and positivity throughout the community. And so Jack, Sophia, Emily, Ben, and their art-loving friends continued to create, inspire, and love, a testament to the transformative power of rebirth, rediscovery, and the thrill of new love. As the years went by, Jack's artistic career flourished, thanks in large part to Sophia's unwavering support. They became renowned for their collaborative pieces, which captured the hearts of art enthusiasts worldwide. Emily and Ben grew up surrounded by creativity, and they too found their own paths in the arts. Emily became a talented painter, while Ben developed a passion for music. The family's home remained a haven for artistic expression, with Sophia's studio at its center. But despite their success, Jack couldn't shake off the feeling that he was living on borrowed time. Sophia's health had been declining steadily and he knew that her days were numbered. One fateful evening, as they sat together in her studio, surrounded by canvases and half-finished masterpieces, Sophia grasped his hand with a frail but determined grip. Jack, she whispered, her voice barely audible over the sound of their own heartbeats. I'm so proud of us. We've lived a life full of color, music, and love. But I know my time is running out. Tears streaming down his face, Jack held Sophia close, trying to absorb the weight of her words. I'll be okay, she said, her voice weak but resolute. You and the kids will continue our legacy. Keep creating, keep loving. That's what we're about. With those final words, Sophia's eyes closed and her hand slipped from Jack's grasp. The studio fell silent, as if time itself had stopped. Jack held her lifeless body for what felt like an eternity, his mind reeling with grief and loss. Their love story, once a beacon of hope, had been reduced to ashes. As the news spread, their art world was plunged into darkness. Emily and Ben, now grown and independent, returned home to mourn the loss of their mother. The house, once a kaleidoscope of color, became a somber monument to Sophia's memory. Jack's artistic career stagnated, his brushstrokes heavy with grief. He continued to create, but his art was no longer infused with the same passion and joy that had once defined them. Their love story, once a testament to rebirth and rediscovery, had come full circle, from love reborn to love lost. As Jack looked around at the canvases, now blank and empty, he knew that Sophia's legacy would live on through their children but it would never be the same without her vibrant spirit. In the end, Jack was left with only memories of their whirlwind romance, their artistic collaborations, 
and the brief moment when they had found happiness together. Sophia's passing had taken away not just her life, but also the spark that had ignited their love story in the first place. A reminder that even the most beautiful things can be fleeting and fragile, leaving behind only sorrow and longing. The End